So let's talk about owning murders in the building episode two. Let's talk about the ending and where exactly it's going next. So of course, owning murders in the building season three is finally here. We had two episodes. In the first episode, we saw that everybody thought Ben had died, but he wasn't really dead. But then at the end of the episode, he was really dead now. So episode two opens up there and everybody's wondering who could have done this to Ben? Who could have killed Ben? And of course, Ben being played by Paul Rudd was extremely uh, well. I, I always love Paul Rudd in a lot of things that Paul Rudd is in. We also have Meryl Streep in this season as well. And I thought that Meryl Streep was great as well in her role, even though we haven't seen her much in this newer episode. I think in the first episode, she was great. So let's talk about what exactly is going on right now. So the episode opens up after the events where they find Paul Rudd's body after somebody had pushed Paul Rudd, um, Ben, off of the elevator that was out of service and crashed down and died. Now, what exactly is going on now? Well, now the suspects are all about, and now we have Mabel trying to find out what exactly happened to Ben. Mabel has this sort of connection to Ben, even though Mabel never really had a full-on uh, connection with Ben, like knowing him personally. She really bonded with her mother after her father's death, after watching watching Ben's work, such as Girl Cop and all of that, that the actor did. So she has this sort of feeling that she wants to figure out what happened to Ben. We have Charles who kind of feels into different about it. They had some fights here and there. Ben, of course, being part of Oliver's stage play alongside also with Charles. And they had a little uh, fight between them. We never really get the explanation until Charles opens up to Mabel about what exactly did happen between them when he finds out that he actually got Ben fired from a show, which was Brazos. And this happened when Ben was just eight years old. And Ben has kept this sort of resentment towards Charles all this time. And that's the reason he acts so hostile towards him throughout the whole uh, term of the play they were in. Now, Oliver, on the other hand, is dealing with the ramifications of Ben dying. Now, his play is being sort of um, shut down, and he is just feeling all of the stress, all of this sort of feelings of, man, I got to get it together. What is going on? And he wants to put on a great play. He really does, but he eventually is like feeling so much of this pressure that he even has a heart attack by the end of it. And it really gets to uh, his son and his doctor telling him, like, you got to stop. This play is getting too out of control. The stress is too much for you. You have to put an end to it. Of course, Oliver, somebody who loves the theater so much, and this was his big comeback, is not going to let that go. And during a night, he has this vision-like dream of bringing the play to life as a musical this time. And he goes to tell Charles and Mabel this. But before we get to that part, we have to remember that Charles and also Mabel were being held hostage by this person who claimed to be the security guard for Ben. Turns out, not really. They were actually just a stalker, and they thought that Charles was the one who killed Ben, and they were going to get the truth out of of Charles because they knew that Charles and Ben had this little fight going on between them throughout the play and all that. So they say, we're going to get the truth out, whether that means torturing you or whatever. So this person kidnaps both Mabel and Charles, but in fact, the police are able to get to Charles and Mabel and save them. And in fact, get the day rescued as they knew already about this stalker. But they say to Mabel and Charles to like back off. Y'all are the podcasters. Y'all are just going to make things complicated and we don't need this going on here. So we see that Charles and Mabel aren't going to back up. They are going to pretty much go full on throttle and only murders in the building podcast season three for them as well. And they are going to do it. Of course, they don't know about Oliver's condition just yet. And now that Oliver's excited about the musical and everything, now he has more stress put on him. As they say, we're bringing the podcast back and we'll see if Oliver does in fact tell them about this. Now, the big question is who murdered Ben and both Charles and Mabel say it has to be somebody in the play. And the stalker says, in fact, there are people who have a reason to want to murder Ben. And so this is how we see things now are going to play out. And I thought that these first two episodes were great. I really am enjoying Paul Rudd, especially in this last episode that scene with him and Oliver where he's trying to find his voice and everything I thought was great as well and it really starts to make you feel for Ben because he was sort of starting to come to his own as well from being this sort of person who played in this IPs and all of that he really was never able to play himself he was playing characters if you will like he says and so I think that we are definitely going to be seeing a pretty compelling performance from Paul Rudd here so I'm excited about that but overall, I'm not too sure exactly who might have killed Ben, but I do have my uh, theories and I will talk about those theories pretty soon. But one of the things, the first clues that we have is that handkerchief, which is, we saw it in the first episode with a couple people holding it, was the one that uh, 
Ben was holding right before he died. Now we do know that it's somebody else's handkerchief because as we hear the stalker say, they took the one from Ben, the real one. So that has to be somebody else's handkerchief. So we're definitely going to be seeing that be a big part of this whole mystery is who in fact had that handkerchief as well. And I think that's definitely a big part of solving this mystery is going into that first. So I will be making a video tomorrow going through all of these suspects. But anyways, until we do make that video, let me know who you think could be responsible for the death of Ben. I know a lot of fingers might be starting to get a point at Charles this season due to everything that happened with Brazos and Ben and all of that. So I definitely do see that being a huge plot point that we're going to definitely be following. I think also the fact that Oliver is having this sort of attacks and sort of this high blood pressure and everything can be a factor into this as well. And just from the little look at who might just be the murderer, we don't really get a good sense. We do see that they were in like a suit or something but i feel like they always kind of like make that the whole thing about it is that they make it seem it's somebody else completely but then we get like stories that are like no no it actually happened this way so i wouldn't really take that little sort of flashback at to uh ben being pushed as the real murder how it happened it might just be a little bit different this is maybe them just having a theory at the beginning but definitely very excited to see how this new season will be resolved um the budget and everything of course is bigger we got bigger stars and all of that so I'm definitely excited to see what other surprises might be coming into this uh, new season here. And we'll definitely be watching and talking about it every week. So make sure that every Tuesday you're coming back here to get all of your only murders in the building fixed. Because we're going to be talking about the whole season in its entirety. Breaking down the episodes and all that. So you don't want to miss that. So make sure you're coming back here. And make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell to know when videos drop. We will be having a giveaway on our channel right now at 28,000 subscribers. So make sure you're being subscribed and commenting below that gets you an entry into the giveaway and we will be announcing winners once we cross 28,000 subscribers so hopefully by the end of the week we can announce a winner so make sure you're subscribing and all that good stuff and commenting below and let me know your thoughts and your theories but theory video tomorrow on who could possibly be the suspects their reasonings and all of that they kind of went over it a little bit in this episode but i do want to make a full video just talking strictly about that just want to talk about the um episode it's ending as well as my thoughts on this season which currently like i said i'm Pretty excited about it, loving it so far, and really happy to see that this show got another season. So hopefully we'll see how this season goes. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And as always, make sure you're following us on all the other social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, our website, www.culturelixer.com. And I'll see all of you next time. As always, stay safe, stay positive.